Welcome parents and carers to this presentation on health and physical education for your year two students. Like any good PE lesson, let's start with a warm up. So drop and give me 20. Good news, static exercises are out and play based warm ups are in. Today, I want to walk you through the content that the Australian curriculum covers for your year twos and some of the movement skills. Then I'll discuss the pedagogy and evaluate these methods through inclusive practice and modern IT, ensuring safe and challenging environments for your students. Now, why is HPE so important? Your children are multidimensional beyond the priorities of literacy and numeracy. HPE teaches your students the benefits of physical activity, building techniques for leading an active lifestyle, promoting healthy long-term habits. Also helping your children to function productively within the rules and values of their own society and how to manage relationships is equally important to learning anything else. The HPE curriculum is split into two strands. They both inform and support each other's substrands which creates practical opportunities for your children across a range of focus areas. Looking more closely at movement now, physical exercise is at the core of the HPE curriculum and builds in mastery as your child progresses through schooling years. I'll focus on two movements. Go. Once your child is running with coordination and control, the next sequence extends to dodging and weaving, evading and accelerating which leads to sport specific skills in footy, tennis, netball and others. Secondly, two handed catching leads to one handed catching on both preferred and non preferred sides. Extending hand eye coordination to kicking and striking, which leads to sport specific skills in most sports. So how do teachers teach this? There are a range of pedagogical approaches that can be used for HPT. Personalised system for instruction, students progress as fast or slowly as they need, but they can stagnate in learning and it's difficult to match abilities. Direct instruction, on the other hand, is great for introducing new concepts, but it is limited by the success of the teacher. Now, Australian classrooms have multiple, diverse and changing needs, shaped by all of your unique children. In order for me to teach effectively, I need to ensure four things. One, your child's opportunity to learn, access to meaningful content, appropriate instruction for each child, and student and program assessment. When teaching movement and physical activity, I love peer learning techniques, as there is clear evidence that learning will occur with less than perfect demonstrations. Because children perceive the movement of their fellow classmates, and they can see that it's similar to their own, and they are motivated to try it. In our warm-up earlier, an inclusive perspective on the game of Tiggy might be to limit your students' eyesight by blindfolding them, introducing balls with valves, and this can be great for students to watch their classmates adapt and learn from these types of activities. In the second strand, inquiry teaching can focus on the big ideas like fair play and well-being. An example might be giving students a project to come up with their own game. Students can critically analyse and evaluate their decisions and explore concepts of diversity and social justice. Inclusion, on the other hand, is not a set of rules or actions. It's an attitude resulting in a meaningful learning environment for everyone. When showing demonstrations in PE, I like to use videos in slow motion because students rely on this visual information. It can assist them with visualisation of techniques and different actions. I also like to use software like Quizzes. This is a great piece of software that I can use to consolidate students' learning. This type of assessment for learning is a great tool for HPE teachers. It sets clear learning intentions and linked with effective feedback, I can improve your child's self-esteem and performance. In summary, a whole school approach is required for teaching HPE effectively and inclusively. And this includes parents and carers, whereby all students can learn and succeed. Diversity enriches their lives, creating learning spaces that encourage students to work together. Students learn better in a thoughtful and caring community, and effective learning evolves from collaborative efforts. Thank you.